first go to assembly and select new component the parent here is the car engine the type standard and the name is exhaust manifold active click here press ok the exhaust manifold is activated so let's go go to create a sketch and select the top plane okay go to two point rectangle make a rectangle here with 387.35 millimeters by 63.5 millimeters press ok let's move this a little bit here that's okay go to constraint select horizontal vertical click on this point and the midpoint here go to sketch dimension the distance between this point and this point here is 146.05 millimeters press ok we have this okay now go to two point rectangle select the center rectangle make a rectangle here with 31.75 by 38.1 millimeters press ok go to sketch dimension the distance between this two point here is 27.31 millimeters press ok and here is the midpoint take the construction line here the midpoint the middle of this line here click in this point go to constraint horizontal vertical click on this line here that's okay we have this okay now go to fillet select the z here the fillet here is 6.35 millimeters make fillet in all edges here of this rectangle press ok now go to the fillet here okay now go to create and select the rectangular pattern the object is this rectangle here okay let's move this a little bit the distance here the distribution is spacing and the distance here is 146.05 millimeters and the quantity is 3 res ok we have this ok now go to create and select uh, this ellipse make a ellipse here the distance here is 114.68 millimeters and the radius here is 47.61 millimeters there is not a construction okay 47.61 press ok we have this okay we now go to sketch dimension the distance between the center of the ellipse and this line here is 35.68 millimeters press ok and go to constraint select horizontal vertical click in this point here and the midpoint we have this okay go to rectangular pattern select the ellipse here the quantity is 2 and the distance here is 146.05 millimeters press ok now go to modify select trim cut this cut this cut this and cut this we have this okay we have this 
Now finish the sketch and go to create a sketch again. Select the right plane here. Select the circle. Make a circle here with 38.1 millimeters. Press OK. Go to sketch dimension. The distance between this point and the midpoint here is 63.5 millimeters. Press OK. Go to constraints, horizontal vertical. Click here in this point and the midpoint here. Press OK. Finish the sketch. We have this, okay? Now go to Construct, Offset Plane. Select the right plane here. The distance here is 146.05 millimeters. And press OK. Let's make another one. Go to Construct, Offset Plane. Click in this plane. The offset here is 146. 0 0.05 millimeters and press OK. Go to create a sketch, select this plane here, select circle, make a circle here with 50.8 millimeters, press OK. Go to constraint, select concentric, select this circle here and this circle, finish the sketch. We have this. Now go to create and select this plane here. Select circle. Make a circle here with 57.15 millimeters of jumper. Press OK. Go to concentric. Select this circle and this circle here. Finish the sketch. We have this, OK? In the three planes that in the two planes that we made, okay. Now go to create and select loft. Select this rectangle here and this circle. Go to profile one here. Select direction and the profile two direction. We have this operation new body. Tangent adds. Click here and press OK. Show the sketch again. Go to create, select loft. Select this space here. This sketch and this circle here. We have this. Connect that, connect that. Tangent adds merge. Operation join. Press OK. We have this, that's okay. Now go to create again, select lot, select this rectangle, and select this circle here. The profile one, direction, the profile two, direction. Let's see the body one here, operation, join. The takeoff angle, click here in the profile tool. The takeoff angle, 15 degrees. The operation join, press OK. We have this. Now, show the sketch for here. Go to create, select loft again. Select this rectangle and select this space here. The profile one, direction, profile two. Direction, click in profile two, select the profile two here and take off angle 15 degrees, operation join, and press OK. Hide the sketch, OK. We have this, that's OK. Now go to press pull, select this space here. The distance here is 137.16, press OK. Now go to Extract, select this profile here, select the rectangles inside, OK. The extrude here is 10 millimeters, 
operation new body press ok now let's the body tool okay select shell select this face here and select these three faces here and direction here is outside and the outside thickness is three millimeters Press OK. We have this. OK. Show the body to. We have this. Go to split body. The body to split is the body to. In the splitting tool, select the this part of the main fold. My PC is not too fast, so it's getting slow. And press OK. See that we have more body here. So let's see body 4, body 3, and body 2. Select these three bodies here, remove them. Now we'll have this. Go to combine, select the body five here and the two bodies, the body one, operation join, press OK. We have this, OK. Now go to fillet, select this edge here and this edge and this edge here. The fillet here is 7.5 millimeters. That's okay. Now add selection set. We have this edge here. The fit here is 3.5 millimeters. We have this. Now add selection set in this edge here. This edge. And this edge. And, and this edge here, the fit here is 12.7 millimeters. And add selection set. Select this edge here and this edge. The fit here is 12.7 millimeters. And press OK. We have this. Okay, now select the body 5 here, create a component from this body, rename this, manifold 1, sorry, manifold 1, okay. Now go to create and select mirror. The object type is component, the object, the manifold. And the mirror plane, you, you can select this face here. And press OK. So we have these two manifold here. Manifold one and the mirror head. Now achieve the current genie. OK. Let's move this a little bit. Let's show the other parts of the current gene. Now, go to join. Select this rectangle here and this rectangle here. Flip this. Sorry, it is not a correct side. Go to join, select this manifold here, and select this rectangle. This part must be to this side, okay? Press OK. We have this. 
now go to joint again select this rectangle here and select this rectangle flip this uh, the motion of the both is rigid press ok we have this ok and here we finish the exercise so thanks for watching subscribe to my channel and see you later